this is AJ Studio. Welcome back. Today we are going to discuss uh, regarding Pascal triangle. Let's see how this works. Pascal triangle program. Let's debug the program first. So start and uh, it will ask for enter the number of rows. So I will give it as 5. You can see the output. When I give 5, the output will be in this way. You can see all these outer elements will be 1. And you can see uh, it is in a fashion of a Pascal triangle that is a triangle so you can see 1 plus 1 is 2 so 1 plus 2 is 3 2 plus 1 is 3 1 plus 3 is 4 3 plus 3 is 6 3 plus 1 is 4 this is the fashion it is going to happen if i give six seven the same way it will continue if you want we can see and uh, one more output so i will give the value as a seven uh, you can see uh, all the outer elements will be seven and you can see three plus three six four plus six is ten and five plus ten is fifteen and ten plus ten is twenty and ten plus five is fifteen five plus one is six this is the way it will continue so now let's trace this program that uh, the, the program is here we can trace uh, the program we'll see how it works so i'll enable the breakpoints so let's debug the program from the beginning so always the uh, it will start from main function so now you can see there are uh, several variables rows coefficient space i and j you can see all the values are garbage value we'll see now after this you can see a uh, few values are given you can see coefficient value is 1 because you have given uh, coefficient as 1 so now uh, printf it will ask uh, enter the number of rows so i'll press uh, again f5 and you can see uh, it is displaying in the output enter the number of rows so again i'll uh, continue scanf so now it will ask for uh, enter the number of rows i will give it as three i'll give it as three and i'll press enter now i'll come back for the program you can see the row is in rows uh, it is inserted as a three the for loop will continue from zero to three so zero to three so, uh, till there it will for loop or will continue so let me go to next line uh, for you can see i is a zero and row is a three and uh, this is for space every time space 1 we'll see what will happen let's go inside so if space is 1 and uh, row is uh, 3 3 minus i i is uh, initially 0 and every time space will increment okay now you can see every time uh, printf there will be a space so to give space in between you are giving a space so if you want you can see the output still it's uh, not yet started so now if i press you can see over the output everybody you can see the output here nothing is the cursor is over here now i'll press f5 okay now one space has been given you can see here in the output uh, window one space has given the cursor is here the before it was here so again uh, this one will continue until the condition will be false you can see one more space so cursor is over here again condition will be false now so condition will be false and it will come out you can see now 4 is here now same way the condition will be checked whether j is 0 and i is 0 so you can see what is the value so if it is true then coefficient will be 1 so j is 0 initially and i will be 0 so both uh, any one of the thing is 0 so coefficient will be 1 you can see coefficient value is 1 so else what will happen so else will be not be calculated so def, uh, it will print print f percentage 4d coefficient so coefficient is 1 so it will print you can see the output window the here it will get printed so it, it's here the cursor is over here till now nothing is uh, got printed now we will see what will happen what what it will print percentage 4d means okay and coefficient value so i'll press continue 
now we shall see the output what has happened you can see one is printed one is uh, printed okay so one is printed so uh, now again i'll continue now it has came out okay and uh, of this so it has came out now what will happen is uh, printf so printf means slash n slash n means it will go to next line i think you know very clearly it will go to the next line means the cursor will go down so again for loop the this one so this space the space will continue the same way it happened previously again printf okay you can see uh, here space is getting uh, one space the same way it will continue i will uh, uh, we will see continue so here you can see the cursor is over here now it has came out of that and now it is in for loop for j so we'll see whether it will go inside yes of course it will go inside because it is true zero and i is one so zero is less than or equal to one so it will be true so it will go inside so now again coefficient will be one okay so of course coefficient will be one then what will be printed printf percentage 4d so coefficient so uh, percentage 4d coefficient so we'll see what will happen i'll continue with this so now coefficient will be printed you can see one is one got printed one got printed there so i'll continue again it went to if again uh, uh, if will be false so it will go to the coefficient so coefficient will be calculated we'll see what is the coefficient uh, you can see here in the below in autos i'll press continue so coefficient is uh, one you can see coefficient is one so afterwards coefficient one is printed if you want you can see coefficient one is printed so printf slash n means it will go to the next line uh, now the cursor is over here now it will go to the next line when i press one more f5 that is continue so you can see it went to next that is slash and means the cursor went here so again we will see continue so again for space it will continue with the space so if, if it is true again space so for it will go then if then coefficient okay coefficient will be one of course then printf it will go it to go directly to the printf if you want to see the output you can see here okay now what will be printed coefficient will be printed so of course coefficient will be one so one is printed if you want to see you can see over here one is uh, printed so now again one uh, here i it will go to the if so j value and i value it will be compared so it will be false so it will go to else part so coefficient will be calculated but now the coefficient value will be 2 because 2 i will be 2 and uh, j will be 1 plus 1 divided by 1 so 2 into 2 minus 1 plus 1 divided by 1 so coefficient is 2 you can see over here everybody you can see here coefficient value is 2 so 2 is will be calculated and that will be printed here so of course coefficient will be 2 so if you want to see here it is not yet printed so it is not yet printed so percentage 4d why 4d because four sp uh, spaces you need see the cursor now the cursor is over here now i will press uh, continue that means it has printed the coefficient now it has printed the coefficient you can see it has given some space and it printed 2 that is why I have given 4 4 there that is why 4d because I need a proper spacing if I don't give up 4d it would have printed there itself I hope you understood why 4d now so again same way I then again coefficient is calculated okay coefficient is 2 now coefficient will be 1 so uh, again coefficient 1 now i will be 2 2 1 
and but divided by 2 so coefficient value is 2 you can see here coefficient now coefficient 1 so if you want you can see here the cursor is over here it will take four spaces and one will be printed over here one will be we'll see we'll see so i will press on uh, continue so anyhow printf now coefficient is printed you can see here proper four spaces one is uh, printed the same way it will continue for uh, n number of iterations it will continue for n number of slash and for next line so if it is finished it will go to the this one and it will print so finally this is the output so this is a pascal triangle how this works maybe uh, program is maybe small but there are no n number of iterations based on the number of rows since there are three rows three is getting printed so if it is four means it would have been extra one more so this is regarding pascal triangle and i am signing off thank you thank you one and all